Yeah, driving to Eastern Carolina after a hurricane, I didn't know what to expect. This is an area full of tradition, full of pride, and this week, pain. But these folks are healing and doing so in the best way possible by stepping up for one another. How do you describe something like Hurricane Florence? It was awful. It's not a good deal for anybody. I've never seen anything like it. It's a storm that came right into your home, no matter how prepared you were. The water came up literally overnight. The time they said the water was going to come up, I didn't have time to get all that stuff moved. And when you were ready for it to leave, it overstayed its welcome. And it just stayed so long and pounded and pounded and pounded. Yeah, get it out where I can see what's wrong with my house. It can make you sick after a while. Sometimes bringing a housewarming gift you didn't ask for. Well, it's my neighbor's boat. And once Florence finally said goodbye, many realized it took what it wanted and left behind a pretty big mess. And there's a lot of stuff is water sogged and it's heavy. Just completely twisted, ripped, and, and just, oh, in pieces. It certainly drilled in an impression, but it also forced some to appreciate what they had. I've been blessed because we're all still living. Thank God for my neighbors. Good guys right there. And pushed others to come back to North Carolina and remember why they love their home. They said, let's do something about it. Let's, let's go ahead and put something in plan. Everybody called it a community service, but it was just all family. And that right there, family. He was coming. That's what Florence didn't know it was dealing with when it came barging in through everyone's front doors. I have several other helpers that are giving helping hands, neighbors, friends, everyone. It's, it's the kind of mix every American neighborhood should have. It's not about the destruction done to these homes. It's about what's inside, showing that one intrusive visitor can never destroy the heart of these people. We're on the rise again that, that the storm can't break us. We just stay together, band together. You'll be surprised at the strength and the love. There's somebody out there that will give you a hand out and a hand up. And while every city we went to was impacted differently, the attitude of the people in those cities, it was about the same. Sure, there was frustration, but there was also hope, positivity about what North Carolina will look like when this is all over.